what is a narcissistic hoover? Narcissistic hoovers are when a narcissist is trying to suck you back in to get attention. Narcissist may not be actually trying to get you into a close relationship with them again. What they are trying to do though is continue the supply that comes toward them from you by means of your attention and very often it's negative. So there's the typical Hoover that we talk about where the narcissist love bombs and gives gifts and sends nice regards and tells you that they're going to change and tells you that they understand how they've been and all of that stuff that will hook you back in and make you think things could be better and and then maybe you do go back into a relationship with them for a short time till they do it again and start manipulating and you have to leave yet again after you're trauma bonded again or there's a type of Hoover that is more common. And we're gonna talk about that now. My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand and heal from it and transform your life after narcissistic people have been in it. The Hoover is not always positive. A narcissist does not like to let go of supply. They do not like their supply chain to be cut off. What they want is your attention your wanting them back, your affection, even if they won't return it toward you, to be going in their direction. They actually don't even care if you hate them as long as it's attention, okay? So that is what fuels the egotistical world that they live in. That is what protects the mask that they wear that they can delusionally believe is the reality of their life, okay? So if you are feeding them attention through responding and reacting to these Hoovers, then it proves the thing that they think that they are, okay? So that is what they're after. So let's talk about some of the things you might see when there is a Hoover. And these are some of the less positive ways that they might be hoovering. They might be seeking information on you, sending in what we call flying monkeys or people who are in your life and their life who can ask information about you and feed that information back to the narcissistic person. They might be smearing you in public. They might be creating a massive smear campaign. You see, that smear campaign gets them attention. It keeps the attention on them, both from everyone who believes the smear and from you who is hurting from the smear. They might reach out to you. They may not even want to talk to you. They may just call you from some strange unknown number and then hang up. They are just trying to keep your mind thinking about them. They're trying to keep your emotions on the hook so that they can control how much supply you give them. They might make a promise of change. They may even threaten to never speak to you again, which, which may sound great to you, but to some people that feels like abandonment. So then it creates an open wound and the feeling of needing closure or needing some conversation and then you enter the conversation and there it goes, they're taking supply from you. They may try to remain friends after a relationship has ended. They might try to pull you back into family dynamics. So if you have gone no contact with a narcissistic parent, say, then they may try and pull you into social events where everyone is present. Or one of your siblings or another family member may try to engage in something that gets you pulled into the family dynamics so then somehow you have contact with that toxic person again and it's all orchestrated through the narcissistic parent they may ask you for favors a narcissist may tell you of an illness or even fake an illness or fake a crisis so that the information gets back to you. They may threaten self-harm. So a lot of people see this one as a positive, but it's really a negative. They may love bomb you. Love bombing is so fake. It's so obvious when you see it that it is somebody trying to manipulate you. And when you're in it, it feels like the one thing you've been wanting for a long time from that narcissistic person and they're giving it to you. But if you see it for what it is, a hoover, a way for them to suck you back into communication with them and use you further, you can see that it's actually not a very positive thing. They might stalk you. They might get impulsive in order to create attention around them so that you worry about them, so that you question what they're doing. 
they may throw new supply in your face. They may throw new supply all over social media. That's a Hoover. Who does that, right? But people who want other people to see it. And if you want other people to see it, then you want the attention. And if a narcissist is doing it, they're doing it to hurt the last person that they were with. And they may use social media as a means of getting your attention in other ways. So they may make posts or put memes up or post songs or post poetry that directly relates to something only you know or something that you know that they think you did wrong or that you're irritated with them for and they will do this just to get your attention just to get the supply so those are just some of the ways that a narcissist will hoover what have you seen in hoovering what have you experienced what has a narcissist done to try and hoover you back how have they tried to suck you back in let me know hit the thumbs up hit subscribe if you need coaching group coaching peer support it's all in the main description of the video and you guys watch the next video and go check out my playlist on understanding narcissists for more information on how narcissists behave